Bonjour, bonsoir, dear friends, and welcome to Wine Style by JCB today, and an amazing lady that is joining us in the historical Oakville Wine Merchant. This is California Grown. This is very exciting because we'll speak with Casey Cornwell about farming, about this special month, and what it means to her, as this is so important. All of you remember, tell me what you eat, and I'll tell you who you are. So Casey, welcome to Wine Style. Thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. Well, this is such a great honor. So, so tell us what is California Grown? So California Grown represents all of the farmers and ranchers and the farm workers who produce California's 400 plus specialty crops, including, of course, wine and wine grapes. So 400 different crops, that's amazing. Is California one of the most diverse farming community in the United States? Uh, without question. So California produces 50% of the nation's produce, over 80%, as you well know, of our wine. And we're the number one in sustainable dairy and a number of other agricultural products. Is, uh, are you California grown yourself? <laughs> I am California grown. I'm fifth generation California farming family. So pretty passionate about all of it. So what made those eyes so beautifully blue that you have? Um, is genetics. It the, is it the <laughs> local avocado? Is it the fabulous almonds? Is it the the wines from Napa Valley? Uh, certainly it's uh, partially the wine, but um, since it's October, I mean, right now it's probably pomegranates and persimmons. Ooh la la, <laughs> they're beautiful as you can see. So now as we talk about farming, what is essential for everybody around the world to know? I think what's essential to know and the reason that Farmer and Farm Worker Month exists is because we really want people to understand the people behind their food That's right. and to start to think about and learn again where their food is from. So look at the packaging, look at the signs around the produce, start to really get back to understanding seasonality, Yes. but even just really think about what goes into the production of this wine, these eggs, those tomatoes. And when we think about the practices of California, what are the practices today and what is the big trend in terms of respecting Mother Nature? So certainly the trend is sustainability, right? right? But I think consumers a lot of times have a hard time understanding mm -hmm. what that means or metabolizing it. So really we talk about the three E's. So the first one and the most important to me is social equity. So mm -hmm. making sure our farm workers are paid well, yes. making sure they are treated well. California is one of the only states with, in addition to higher minimum wage, heat protections for That's our right. workers and those kind of things. And then there's environmental, right? So farming practices, behaviors in the winery or in processing, making packaging decisions, all of those things. So it's not just the farming practices. A lot of times it's what happens after the, the fruit or vegetables are harvested. For sure. And, and then the uh, third E in sustainability is economic because it has to work. It has to work because if you're doing great things for your people and you're doing great things for the environment, you can't keep doing those things mm -hmm. if you're not making any money at it. That's right. Well, congratulations. This is so well outlined. I want to make a toast, not just to your gorgeous eyes, <laughs> but to what you just touched on. And that is seasonality. How important is it for all of us to respect the rhythm of Mother Nature? Well, it's hugely important. I think um, seasonality, people who care about farming and farming practices or farmers and farm workers, or even just what's going on in the environment, if you're eating seasonally, you're being a good steward of the environment because you're eating what's available around you and you're consuming what's available around you. So I think people kind of miss how critically important just eating seasonally is to the entire environmental impact. And it's better for your defense mechanism as your body because you are in the season of where you are and if those products are grown here, 
it's very good to be in your body for your defense mechanism as your nourishing and quality of it all. So I'm with you. So talking about seasonality, we're in October. This is a great <laughs> month. Tell me about what this one makes you feel and what would you pair it with as far as what is California grown? Well, I think to your point about seasonally, um, the earth giving us what we need, yes. right? This is a bold wine with some strong flavors and of course those polyphenols that protect us physically, right? Here we are. Um, Ooh la la, she uh, knows it all. Uh, but I think some of the things that are in season now yes. that would make good sense with this would be almost roasted sweet potato and um, those late summer tomatoes and certainly maybe I would go lamb, other people might Ooh, go beef. I'm with you. Um, Let's go for dinner. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm ready. There are certainly some have... restaurants around here we can make it happen. Well, what about if we cook? Uh, something tells me that you know the produce so well that you know how to highlight even better than anyone. Well, I think when you grow up in a farming family, that's just how it is. I've People would talk about seasonality or farm to table. And I think when you grow up in agriculture, that's just the way we eat, right? We're eating not only what we're producing, but what our friends and family members and the people around us are producing. So I grew up that way. And what does it mean to you to be fifth generation Californian? And when you think about this, that means we go back to the 1860s, right. 1870s. Um, what it means to me is I certainly have a sense of pride. Um, about California and I wish people would learn or go back to appreciating and I know so many of your audience does the bounty sure. that is California and the diversity that is California. Um, certainly we're a large state physically but when you look at all the terroir we have the reason we grow 400 crops is because we have all of these different places that can do all of these amazing things. Yes that's amazing. And as your family, I think, doing the math in my head, was right there in 1881 when the Oakville Wine Merchant and the Oakville Grocery was founded. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, certainly we were in the San Joaquin Valley when, when they were up here. Fantastic. <laughs> well, any message, uh, Casey, you would like to convey to our friends all around the world about farming, about Napa grown, California grown, and maybe about you know, California farm workers at large. Yeah, absolutely. I think that California agriculture is really and has been looking to take care of our people, looking to take care of our place, yes. looking to do things better, and looking, I feel like your group is an ideal Thank you. Uh, thought of using history to educate us and using California's incredible technology to think about how we can do it better and then sharing that with the world. That's right. Much of the farming technology in terms of sustainability gets developed in California and then deployed around the world. And I think that's hugely important. When you choose a wine from here or food from here, you're not only supporting your local economy, but you're supporting all the innovation that happens in California and goes across the world. God, we found quite the ambassador. <laughs> I'm going to vote for you as the ambassador to the world on nature. I like it. As long as I'll go any place where there's wine. Well, and look at those blue eyes, dear friends. <laughs> she speaks with her eyes. <laughs> we delighted and congratulations for all what you do with California Grown, as well as this amazing farming community of what California is about. And what you talked about is the definition of what makes California so great, that terroir. That is the people, obviously the soil, the climate, and the passion of all of us to do what we do. Absolutely. Salud. Thanks for having and me. A great celebration. October month. Cheers.